G'day everyone, just finished commissioning a 6 kilowatt off grid system. We got 23 260 watt panels, it's about 5.9 kilowatts of solar power. Go. Oh. Hi, this is the inverter and uh, battery equipment for the off grid system. The Sunpoint SP5000 grid connect inverter, just like you'd have on a normal house, connected to the grid. But on this application, it's AC coupled to a Sunny Island 6, which uh, has a rated output of 4,600 watts continuous and a surge output of 6 kilowatts. You can see we've got an isolator here for the generator. It's not connected at the moment because no one's living here, but that auto starts, controlled by the Sunny Island. Uh, the reasons it would come on would be if you battery state of charge goes below 20% or if the inverter is continuously getting asked to produce more than uh, 4.6 kilowatts. In that scenario, the inverter will call on the generator to start and help with the load. Then when the load goes back down below uh, 3.6 kilowatts, the inverter will tell the generator to stop because it can handle that load on its own. In this job, we've used LG Chem lithium ion batteries. Uh, we've got a 6.4 main bat uh, kilowatt hour main battery unit, and then two 3.2 kilowatt expansion packs, which give you a total of 12.8 kilowatt hours of storage. Uh, the only limitation with the lithium ion is that the discharge current is limited by the battery management system to 110 amps. So even though the inverter is rated at, has a six kilowatt rating for half an hour, the lowest common denominator in the system is actually the output of the batteries. We've got around this by setting that auto gen start to 4.6. So we've looked after our battery pack and we've looked after the inverter. The AC inverter is basically connected to the switchboard or a circuit just as like it would on a normal house. And then the main switch is fed from the sunny island. That's just a battery isolator. Don't really need that. There's another circuit breaker in the top of here. That's just an extra safety precaution in case you need to disconnect the batteries very fast. Uh, I guess the next thing we'll show you is the, just how AC coupling works. At the moment, the batteries are fully charged. You can see that the load is zero. The generator output is zero. But the battery is basically fully charged. 91%, it hasn't done an equalization charge yet because it only does one every 30 days. So that would get it up to 100%. If we come over here to the AC inverter, you'll see that its output power is 425 watts. And we, all we have going at the moment in the shed is a fridge and some fluoro lights. So there's no discharge or charging of the batteries. All the power is getting provided from the AC coupled grid connect inverter. Now, to put a bit of load on here, the kettle. We'll see that it draws initially from the batteries. We've got the 1.5 kilowatts to run the kettle out of the batteries. But the inverter will start to ramp up and this kilowatts coming from the batteries will go down. Just see it starting to move down, 1.4. If we come over here to the quick connect inverter, you just see it starting to ramp up. over a kilowatt from 500 watts. And the longer that load runs, the, uh, the closer the ramp will be to nullify the power getting from the batteries. And as soon as we turn that load off, we'll turn that kilowatts around and charge the battery and immediately recharge for it's just drawn out.
I will just turn that off to speed things up a bit. You can see that it's immediately gone to a negative, which is recharging the batteries. You'll see the AC inverter started to ramp down. So it'll just stay above it. I think the base load was about 500 watts before. It'll just stay slightly above to replace what it just took out of the batteries and then it'll ramp back to only what's being used. Yes, so it's an AC coupled Sunny Boy SP5000, Sunny Boy, Sunny Island 6 with uh, LG Chem batteries, 12.8 kilowatt hours of storage.